historic historic 566 uh, entering about 10 minutes from the, the waterfall and uh, let's see where we go. Hey guys, welcome back to Riding with Cash. Yes, today is a day we're gonna go out to check out a man-made waterfall. I want to loop the chain to make sure you know we're taking care of it and then to the right uh, maintenance at the right schedules. It only takes a minute. Um, it does help the bike. Uh, it's a brand new bike. I'm sure it's. You can see it's properly lubed, but it's been sitting there for almost six months. That's it. Done. And that was about it. Put little saddlebags in. This is from the old uh, Emelin. Kind of worked. motorcycles inside you had to walk it so we are right here but the falls right here I can hear the waterfall let's see how far it is and it's about seven miles so we have the Glen Forest Preserve it's a pretty big preserve I found the shortest path to the waterfalls. It's in about 0.4 miles. So just let's hike it down and let's check it out. Yeah. It's almost 90 degrees outside. We had the bike heat coming through. Ooh. What are we looking at? Oh, 110 degrees. Once the bike's moving, then it gets colder. So when bike, when you stop at a stoplight. They say, once a biker, always a biker. So let's figure out where the Rocky Glen waterfall is. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow. Yeah, put it in. We can look for it. Oh, wow. Wow. And this is all man-made. Is it really a waterfall? Or is just, just walking into a, like a river? I just see a river. Oh wow. People are like walking. Seriously? So we can go inside? The fall? Here? Oh. Oh. That's it? It's a fall that was made by people with hands. <laughs> so that's the story. In 1930s, over 3 million men earned a living in the US of working with civilian conservation corps. The corps was part of President Roosevelt's New Deal to combat unemployment during the Great Depression. 
hence this waterfall, this waterfall was man-made during the 30s in the Depression. So that's the significance, that's why it's so important, that's why it's, why it's so pretty, it's so beautiful, it has value. I just remembered there's a big Hindu temple in the area, not very far from here. So there's some nice food, maybe a lot of good water and got dehydrated in this heat so that'd be great i just say a little prayer and go eat something and visit the temple so and uh, might be a good idea let's go from the preserve is the Hindu temple of Namont. We're so nearby, it's a good time to go inside, say a prayer and uh, right back home. So the last time I, we, I was here was during the burning of the effigy of Ravana, uh, I think in October uh, last year, which was uh, in the evening and the night time. And it was down on the other side of the temple, but today it's in the daytime. Uh, it's always great to visit a temple and you know, feel good about it. So you can spot this temple from pretty far off, especially the architecture. And the temple right is back in the middle of the road. And it's, it's east and west, so you know the way the sun rises the temple road in the east, when the sun sets the temple road in the west. It kind of follows the, the Hindu way of doing things. It's brilliant. It's beautifully done. If you like watching Riding with Cash, hit subscribe and join me on the next ride.